Salutations everyone and welcome to Let's Play The Consuming Shadow, a spooky Halloween edition. Ooh. And if you aren't scared yet, welcome back. We are in Dinley after having done a lot of work. No cash to our name, nothing to really do. And we have learned, much to my horror, the first two bits of the... No, we learned where the god's name is, and we learned where one of the major runes are. So now we have our objective in finding something to do. So we're just going to drive to Castlebury and just let random events take us elsewhere. Preferably when we have something else to do, such as a place to visit. Thump. I'm startled into full wakefulness when something heavy and fleshy slams my front bumper. I stop the car out of reflex. The unmoving mass in the road could be human or animal. Anxiety seizes my heart. I know what I hit. My relief for the person I hit, or it seems to be human, is already standing up by the time I get to him. But for a few bruises, he seems unharmed. Relatedly, he seems to be paralytically drunk. His hand has remained clamped around a whiskey bottle throughout the entire ordeal. He seems easygoing about the accident, and in truth, barely seems to be aware of it. It doesn't look like he has been this way for long. I suspect this may have how he chooses to face the shadow. But, oh man. Once I was back on the road, I began to envy him. Stop. <laughs> did we finish Dinley? I think we did. we just leave Dinley? I think I did like a moron. Ah well. You know how good my memory is. I forget things. I'm a bloody goldfish when it gets to memory. We're currently waiting for the witching hour. We're right in Castleberry. We'll enter the town. Is there anything? Oh, hi there. I didn't realize that Castleberry fell to madness. The madness that underlies this town appears to be a subtle one, but troubling signs have begun to emerge. In response to my questioning, a few residents have seemed ready to give an urgent account, only to think better of it, or to be shushed into silence by another. They are sick with unaired secrets and unconfirmed suspicions, manifesting as whispers, graffiti, and anonymous texts. There is an evil here, I know it, one so loathsome that it will freeze even the busiest tongues. How does everybody know my number? Seriously, I've always been curious about this. People just seem to, like, know my number for no apparent reason. Do I just give it out to people? We'll investigate further. On a hunch, I moved past the facade and explored the lower-income neighborhoods. Finally, in a narrow alleyway, I found a young woman in a state of distress. Between whispers, she spoke of having been captured by a cult based in an old church deep in the industrial district. With mutilated hands, she gestured in the direction of the building, and begged me to find if there is anything left of her friend, captured the same day as her. I cannot, in good conscience, refuse. Locate a missing person, or what remains? I will never get used to that. I will always just change ammunition types for no reason. Swing my gun round and round. Here we go for a night in the town. Sorry, I'm still picturing waiting for someone to show. Hey, big beastie, where are you hiding? Where are you hiding? The anonymous... The animosity is rooted in the suffering reportedly endured by a whisper of Nyx, while captured by the cult of Yashug. Yashug whispers seem to tell the story the other way around. Nyx is the enemy of Yashug. We finally identified who Yashug is. With a little clue, I think I could figure it out. Oh, I could have sworn I dodged you. Mostly garbage, but we got a lockpick. Oh well. I saw that. I'm gonna smack this door repeatedly. Cause that... I saw the door move. Someone left their key ring here. Oh, I got the key. I'm not touching the door, cause I know that's a lie. I found a dusky lucky charm that isn't completely beyond salvage. Prevent, okay, increases loot. Um, sure. Oh, so that's how that works. That interface is weird. Okay. Question. The tea room is inscribed on the wand right here. Generic prayer to a god. So, you is friend for yellow. The tea is... Just... The tea is friend for red. 
Because the friendship works weirdly. We'll determine this later. Generic prayer for a god, not necessarily the god perverting this place. It could be intended for an associated deity. So, how do you know that? Always curious. Seem to grow more distant for a moment, and we gain some sanity back. Excellent. Good enough. Kiz is in red, marking of territory. Red is Kiz. Okay. Our gesture of thanks or recognition to another god. I guess they might have changed something. We'll still determine this later. Felt a wave, energy, and we gained some more sanity. Excellent. Less sanity effects, please, gentlemen. Guns at the ready. Okay. Inscribed upside down, intended as a curse. So, red hates you. So, Bati is a friend for red. Red is kiz. Red hates you. Then I guess we'll invoke you. Neutral. And I think my eyes are now playing tricks on me in real life, as they have been wont to do. What's here to kill us? Nothing. Dungeon complete. Escape dungeon. We'll warp out of here. The news of the death did not, it seems, come entirely unexpected to the poor soul waiting for my return, but they seemed to appreciate my efforts. As I made my excuses, they pressed a wallet into my hands, explaining that it had been left behind by a previous visiting occult investigator. The symbol EU had many uses in the ancient language of the ancients, most notably as the second symbol of a notorious dispel, purportedly to be powerful enough to banish a god. Okay. Three out of the four. Now, my current notes. Denote that Nyx is the enemy of Yashug. Orange is Yashug, and is identified with Bati. Bati is the friend of the red. Okay, so now it's time to write the names of the gods and their associated runes. This is fun for me. Fun for me because I'm not going to edit this and put this up there, so... Yashug is orange. We don't know who... Petit. I'm just going to put Petit at the top of a triangle with your shug above it with the color orange in, quote, in quotations. Orang. Orag. Orag. I can spell orange, I swear to thee. And we know there's a relation to Kiz, which we know is red. We don't know the god just yet. But we also know that... Oh, but I can't mark down the relationship there. Oh wait, yes, we know that the last rune has to be EU. Red hates EU. This is good. If there's animosity between those two, which means EU must like Bati. Nyx is the enemy of Yashug. So Yashug must... So Bati must hate Red. Urbiti hates kids. We still have to figure out who's actually invading. Is also the bigger issue here. Lovely. We'll set our destination. Oh, wait. Well, sorry. Sorry. Before we set a destination, we will first medkit. Love the fact I have so many bullets, and then we're going to go to... You know what? Let's go to Stone Sham. It's a further drive. More things might have a chance to happen. Text from an unknown number, we'll open it. I just escaped from Canstleberry, that place. I don't know the right word. It's like it's possessed. Open. We've got sightings of enemy minions in kidding that need exterminating. If you have the time to sort this out, you won't go unrewarded. Okay. Hang on, didn't I literally just do Castleberry? I just... Wow, I got to Castleberry before the event triggered. I'm gonna go get some money. 
I wonder, is this town going to be shadow infused? It is. Whenever we arrive, it seems to be shadow infused. So, I guess I'm ready to enter the town again, so let's just see. It's not suffering under an infestation of small scuttling creatures, too large to be rats, not to mention too aggressive and too organized. A situation like this. Okay, we've seen this one before. Petty nuisances, killing pets and ruining crops, and sooner or later it escalates to missing people being found half devoured. Let's root out the nest. A list of recent incident reports, mostly townspeople complaining with damage to their back gardens. Visited a few of the houses looking for a common factor. Okay, the gardens is now overgrown and unwelcoming to people. We'll investigate further, hopefully getting a few more clues. Because I think we've been able to determine... We've determined relations of hatred, I think. We'll just go straight across, because so far this seems to be the most upward path. There we go. Ripped open several places. Okay, God of Lust is here. So we know that this is the God of Lust. We already know who the God of Madness is. So we just need to find a rune that associates him with the God of Lust, or this area with the God of Lust. Uh, that's a grave insult. Red hates you, we've already determined this, so let's just cast EU and see what happens. Oh, we have clairvoyance, I forgot. He have responded. Maybe we're drawing the gods' attention. Who knows? I'm gonna use Hollow Point. Down we go. Okay, I could have sworn I heard something big here. Further down south? Hey, big creature. I knew you were there. Oh, that's how you kill them. Oh, you tricked me. Oh, we got some money. Um, don't have the key ring, but I can try to just brute force lockpick. We'll go south. What is that sound? Key ring? Down go. Oh, hey, we found the nest. We're going to melee this until it's dead. <sighs> Anxiety. The god of fear is not the god attempting to invade. I know you're reading this, scholar. Your actions will have far further reaching consequences than you could have possibly imagined. Return to the car. Can we just escape the dungeon? Yes, I'll warp. No magic wand has waved over the town room with the taint of the shadow. With the infestation removed, it certainly is quieter. We make our way back to the car. We have a little bit of cash to our name, but I'm actually more interested in going to Kidding to get the monster sighted removed. God of Lust had its work there. God of Lust hates red. Or EU. The God of Rust is red, so we just need to figure out who the God of Lust is. Daddy, could you please come uh, really mean she hurts us? We want to go home. Oh, come on. Grandma, really? We'll enter the town. As soon as I arrive, I see the creatures of the shadow infesting the streets and attacking one Tonley. We make a valiant effort to fight them off, but the struggle go either way. Let's lend our aid. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, I'm just gonna run ahead and melee you all. Stop with the anxiety. Small handful of standard 4 millimeter rounds. The town is calm and peaceful, oblivious of the shadow. We're gonna visit the hospital, refill our medkit. We're not killing ourselves today. Not yet. Not restoring our sanity. Refuse to do so. Almsworth. This way. 
Uh, we already cleared those out, and those towns are destroyed, so yeah, we'll try Almsworth and then head south. A small county church where a number of locals have taken shelter from the indistinct wards drifting out of the entrance door. It seems like some kind of sermon's taking place, when the prospect of peaceable human contact extremely enticing. Let's listen. I should have realized the moment I entered the room that this was no gentle Christian sermon, but an attempt to appease one of the loathsome beings that torment our world. I should have recognized the symbol on the altar. As priest talk turned to the most hideous blasphemy, I finally became aware of the suspicious glances I had been earning since my arrival. When I rose to leave, the sermon stopped. Other people stood, something grabbed me around the arm, and that's the last thing I remember. They left me my watch, so I know how much time has passed, but I don't know where I am. Corpse here, the body is torn to ribbons. Self-inflicted, so insanity. Thankfully they don't put a pursuer here, otherwise I think I might... Scream? Okay, good. This might be a good thing. Standard ammo. Gone at the ready. Thank you, you actually allowed me to hit him. Um, this is the closest way out. Insanity effects are fun, aren't they? Not dealing with you. I hate anxiety, I would love it to go away, but I can't make it do so. Oh gosh, this is not an exit, is it? Yeah, we'll return to the car. The car's waiting for me outside. Use it or thought it was something important inside it. But we're not gonna question. Heal ourselves a little bit. We gained absolutely nothing from this. Set destination. Hey, worthless to twin hope. So we know who the invading god is not. We might be able to identify who the invading god is. Because if we know who the invade oh, no. We don't know who the one who's helping us. The one who's helping us is the one that tells us who the invading god is not. Enter the town. The town is abandoned and it's not hard to see why. The very air is thick with otherworldly power and the clouds spiral and churn towards the center where I can only be a big dimensional rift. Deliberately opened and kept open. There's still people on this plane of existence, misguided enough to want to summon otherworldly forces. Their fear is nowhere near as big as the one that will bring the ancient, but it has been enough to all but destroy the town. Before I encamp the rooms necessary to seal the rift, I need to be next to it. Locating it was as easy as finding a good vantage point but looking for the spot where which multicolored clouds swirled and fluctuated madly. They were roughly over a high rent suburb, and a small amount of investigative driving me led a small amount of investigative driving me led me to the door of an unassuming detached family house, but it's the only house with illuminated windows and not the kind of light that comes from bulbs. Well, let's try. Come on, I know there's an enemy here. Down we go. Language in the engines, the name of Nyx is often associated with a symbol representing an incomplete number four with a detached line. Nyx is you. That's good. I might have had things wrong? Let me check. No. No. You are not allowed to cast! Why aren't you dying? Did I have to just shoot you? I don't know. We have keys, armor piercing ammo. Keep moving. Oh, yeah, we found that you're dead here. No apparent concern for the pain. I want to explore more, but I also have to do something here to make my sanity a little bit easier. Oh god, we found the rift. Uh, spells. Kids. That takes care of the seal. Only thing left to do is close the rift itself. Okay. we go. Oh, come on. I didn't... Anxiety. Why do 
I keep getting anxiety. I'll take these bullets over the others. The walls of the cave were absolutely covered in the room. Pronounced Kiz, each one dotted in chalky red paint. So Kiz is red, which we've already determined this. Okay, further ahead we go. Oh, it was, a mis it was something hidden. Dislocated. Okay, next to the rift. Pause. Done. Check this. Two runes. What the heck? doesn't appear to be able to physically survive in our universe. The threat it possesses is very real, but thankfully indirect. Oh no. I'm dead. Run as fast as possible. I don't care. Out of my way. Take my sanity hit. Yes, I will return to the car. <sighs> Heal. And we depleted all my cash. Lovely. Well, I can at least try to figure out what the invading god is before I die. Your shug is not invading. Yashug is the enemy of Kiz. Kiz is red. Nyx defined by you. So if he can't be invading... Kiz already determined is red. Ah, my brain. I must be missing something here. Red hates you, which is true. You is the friend of yellow, which must be orange? Maybe I am confused. Yeah, no, there was no, there's yellow there. No runes. Should we gain some more sanity? Um. is a friend for red. Or at least red likes petit. God of fear is not invading. Yashug is the god of fear. God of lust hates you. Wait a minute. I'm stupid. Yashug is orange. Yashug is not invading. God of Fear is not invading. Nyx is the enemy of Yashug. What? Okay. So Yashug is not invading. Who's the God of Fear? Orange is Madness. There's a God of... <sighs> Once again, I must be missing something. Oh, wait a minute. God of Lust hates EU. Who does Red hate? Who hates who? Nyx is already determined. Nyx is enemy of Yashug. I need to keep all these notes in line. Nyx hates Yashug. God of Lust hates EU, meaning Kiz is God of Lust. You guys love it when I just literally forget everything. You're probably screaming at me that you already came up with the answer. I'm so tired. Um, which yug? Your shug is madness. You is fear. Nix is fear. God of fear is not invading. So Kiz is the invading one. Yeah. 
the only option here is that Kiz is the invading one. We'll see if anything pops up to contradict me. Which it probably will. I don't have enough cash to get more med supplies, so... I guess we'll go to Castleberry. Hope we get lucky. Or we have a zero sanity run, meaning I have to be very, very bloody careful. Back to the town, what happens? There was nothing more we could do for that. I'm so thankful I didn't have to shoot myself. Burnholm. But no more anxiety. Ministry of Occultism. The guy in Vizshil asking for someone to bring him a locksmith's kit. Not sure what it's about. Don't expect a warm welcome there if you let this slide. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a locksmith's kit. I have locksmithing tools, but not a kit. I've wired you 11 pounds. Don't ask who I am. Just keep doing what you're doing. Thank you, sir. You are a saint. Enter. Why is it that every time I go to... He's under the influence of the shadow. Every taste sharp and acrid sits heavily in the lungs. The dark doors of the abandoned buildings faint sounds are chilling to the bone. Divine still exists. Associated with ideas like protection and warding, they must leave Dob no. Oh, no. Find the trails of protective wards. I've located what I believe the home of the artist. The entrance was absolutely plastered and sealed, doubled in a mixture of bodily fluids. The place was deserted and everything useful had been taken. Where the owner had merely found a safer home. Scraps of discarded journal indicates the source of the wars, an old book in the arcane languages, which had been hurriedly stored in the user's former workplace. I was building not far from here. I was able to recover it before someone or something does so first. Yes, I know you're sick. Open only the box bearing the symbol of Chizo. We figured out who the last god is. Thank you. So Kiz is who we're looking for. What is Kiz again? That one. Meleeing while walking forward. Meleeing while walking forward. Meleeing while walking forward. Seizure warning, everybody. I should just take the drugs. What? Were you really that big? I think so. Okay. To my horror, breached in the center of the circle incanted the phrase EU T. Every unfortunate prisoner he had gathered mysteriously died in violent explosive matters that haunt my nightmares to this day. We learned to spell. Congratulations. That's not helpful. That is the wrong box. We already determined who Nyx was, so we're out of here. Him. Oh my gosh. Shoot. Oh, that's why. Thank you. That's all I wanted. I just didn't have any bullets loaded. That's strange. Looks like a page torn from a diary. No time to read it now, but I'll hang on to it. I'm invisible. Body lies on my feet. Actual cause seems to be exhaustion. Lust? Probably. Oh no, I'm losing my sense of self. Oh no. Okay, so bullets just end them immediately. I'm gonna take the drugs now, mommy. Given us the physical longest away area we could possibly be. So we're very much dead. Found it. Most of the engraving was too weathered. Last symbol was Bati. Run. Let me through. I'm gone. Wrong one. Yeah, no. Up 
we go. Oh yeah, I hear it. One more hit and I'm dead. Yes, we are returning. Town's lost to the shadow. Nothing I could do could have changed that, but we've recovered the last incantation of the spell. Supplies depleted. But if I take a look at my spells, we know the ritual. Or most of it. And if I could find the point I'm supposed to reach, I could probably survive and make it there. But I want medicine. And we're just gonna go to Hobblegate because I can't save anybody here. Lost in a suburb over which a considerable pall hangs. I feel, can feel terrible things lurking in the dark corners and alleyways waiting for an opportunity, but against all odds I found a garage owned by an untainted man. Once convinced of my humanity, he proudly shows me a modified altering vehicle in which he intends to escape the possessed town. The souped up engine roars deafeningly. It seems it is too dangerous to save but the noise alone, which surely attract minions of the shadow. Muffler. I want the man that the noise may attract the attention and offer my engine mufflers a possible solution. He is dubious, but is swiftly fitted, and the two of us drive as far as the motorway with our vehicles in hushed convoy. And relative safely, he returns the muffler. Before we part ways, he thanks me for my help. First, it was 16 pounds, and secondly, by making a simple fix to my own car's engine that will increase the maximum speed. Thank you. I'll open the text. Wouldn't want to spoil the surprise. Screw you, T. We're in Hobblegate. Yeah, I'll take the illegal drugs. I don't want to die. Hospital. Fill my med kit. They will- wait. Heal me without question as long as I have cash. Supplies. Already got the muffler. Hollow point. You know what? Give me all your hollow point. I'll just take it all. And we're on the dawn of the last day. I'm gonna use all the medical supplies. Bring myself up to near full. Which is lovely. Might be the fastest we can go, but we're gonna drive the 99 miles. And hopefully make it. So I believe we determined Kiz was the invading god. We'll open the text. Thinking of moving the kids to Saxchester. They say there's none of the crazy stuff's happening there. Where's Saxchester? Oh, it was just giving me a safe zone. Okay, I now get that mechanic. Well, thank you. But 19 hours remain. We are in the final day. Stonehenge. The last spot. And unfortunately, it looks like I might go insane. A woman in her early 20s flagged me down. When I pulled up, she burst into tears and fell to her knees. She looks exhausted and I think uninjured, but she spat with blood from some source or another. I get out of the car and cautiously walk towards her, displaying my palms. But the moment she becomes aware that I'm approaching, she shrieks and lunges for me. Slap her. My slap silences her cries instantly and she looks at me with actual awareness for the first time. She gestures anxiously behind her and explains that she had until very recently been a prisoner of the Ancient's minions in a nearby compound. She mentions that her friend, captured at the same time, is still in there and begs me to help. We'll rescue. I assure her that I will do what I can. She regrets her request immediately, pleading for me not to endanger myself, but I cannot shy from my duty to fight the Shadow. My mind is still clear. Looks like I'll need armor pierce to do anything to those guys, or they just take inordinate amounts of pain and punishment. Maybe I can get a few more notes, confirm suspicions. Gunship is also shown to have an affinity for the color red, which is associated with an allied deity. So, allied. Okay, so aside from all my previous information, that's exactly what I was looking for. So, Kiz is now definitely the invading god, so we're now dealing with Chizo. Excellent. 
Nyx's will is only ever inscribed in yellow. Bye. I can't kill you. I'll take the Sam hit. Set of keys. Good. Maybe I can restore a little bit. Wow, you're annoying. Yeah, so we're just gonna cast it. I want a little sanity. Yeah, we have a little bit of it. Really? 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 <sighs> I guess that teaches me my lesson. Why am I walking out? I have no idea why I'm walking out. I'm just going to escape the dungeon. Burst from them. I offer my condolences and they seem to be about to take it out of me before the reason takes over. They angrily throw 30 pounds as payment. Wow! I didn't even know that was a possibility. We're at Stonehenge. Fine. We know what we're supposed to cast. We have the teensiest bit of sanity. In the center of Stonehenge, the ground has been torn up and an eerily lit entrance leads to, into some kind of tunnel network. I don't know if it's unthinkably ancient or recently built, but either way, the shadow is not even trying to conceal it. This close to the deadline, I must feel assured of victory. So will either be a place where it finally will be vanquished or a fitting tomb for myself. Let's be sure that I have all the runes and the order they must be cast for the ritual, or at very least enough information to confidently guess. Here we go. To Hollow Point. What's the spell, by the way? Agni Ubati Kiz. Agni Ubati Kiz. Weird. You can't attack me while you're this close. Prevents anxiety. Um, yeah, over the muff. Oh gosh, stop that. Take. Uh, stop. Lucky. Click this. Anxiety. There we go. I'll take this because I don't want anxiety right here. Military flashlight. Um, we'll prevent the breaking of limbs with a flashlight. Want to see my opponents. I'm out of here. You can't make me fight that thing if I don't have to. Further from the entrance, so we're gonna go with Thulp. Nyx is Terror Beast, God of Fear. We had already determined this a while ago. Alright. We're out of here. I'll take my sand loss. No, I'm not fighting that thing. I don't have to. Uh, please. There it is. Another victim of the shadow. Their body seems to have been ripped open in several places. Spell. Agni Ubt Kiz. Agni Ubt Kiz. Oh gosh, should we get it wrong? The preceding writings are found in an abandoned car near Stonehenge after the crisis period mysteriously ended last week. The vehicle is registered in the name of the noted scholar who had disappeared from his home a few days previously. 
The veracity of the text is uncertain. Several witnesses in town across the country have confirmed certain details, but contrary to the scholars' claims, no mysterious tunnel entrance has been found in or near Stonehenge. I categorically deny the accusation that I, myself, was in contact with the scholar during the crisis period and was passing him classified information. At time of writing, his whereabouts remain unknown. T. I think I skipped something by accident. Oh well. Was that the good ending? And thank you, Yahtzee, for this fantastic game. And Ramin Darabia. I don't know the relation. Mark Hadley. I mean, of course you always have your testers. No funny names to poke fun at. I'll just move my cursor. Did I fail? I didn't see that text because I think I hit W way too quickly because it had the die portion of it, which is basically run into it. So did I seal myself in there? Did I summon it? Or did we fail? Or... You died? Question mark. Birth star? Birth star? Birth star? I still don't know, did we succeed? Ultimate sacrifice. Successfully banished the ancient with 15 hours remaining, but disappeared into the ancient's realm. Now hopefully deceased. Discovered all four runes of the banishment ritual. Tended to favor close combat, exterminating 65 enemy minions with melee. Learned tomb spells, but seemed to distrust magic and avoid making casual use of it. In the end, subject was a physically exhausted, mentally shattered, narcotics-riddled, burdened, jittery hero. <sighs> I would have loved to save that person, but ah uh, well. How unfortunate. Well, this will teach me not to subcontract. The scholar has gone dark. He either died or lost his mind or suffered some terrible consequence of not listening to me. Fortunately, I have what the scholar lacked, the support of the government resources. I have a banishment ritual and I have money. What I don't have is the identity of the invading god, nor do I have much time. I estimate that 24 hours remain before the incursion event. Oh, so there's more now. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to visit this in the future. But as of right now, I have to go to work soon. So, we're just going to end this right here. Hope you all enjoyed watching. Fair.